so we're jumping ahead in time here a little bit because you didn't even see this yet but i'm gonna do the next two videos in two parts it's actually one big long video it's just so damn long it's like a half hour of stuff <laughs> But I took this all apart, just a basic breakdown so you could see what was in it, what was not, blah, blah, blah. Some of the stuff I found is just amazing. I know exactly why these don't work well. And you'll get to see all the stuff and what it looks like. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to involve a YD100 crank <laughs> when we fix this. And you'll see later in the video why and what's going on, but... I think we can make this run really decent and I know how to fix the timing issues and stuff and I know why it's caused now. So I'm going to end up breaking this all down. Before we do that and start screwing with it, I'm going to do a timing video as is right now. I might do some 3D printed parts to get it to where it should be and we'll test it and then we're going to break this all down and fix it. But I got a plan, got a good plan for this. Some stuff really pissed me off in this. So anyways, enjoy. Two videos. Here's part two. Just the breakdown to get a basic idea what the hell's going on. I took measurements, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. before they crushed it. Alright. Alright, so here's a YD100 crank. As you can see. A lot of people want to know the difference here. It's 14. See that one? It's 15.91. It's basically 16. Well, that's the difference between these side by side. But all in all, there's just the opening difference in height. So let's see. We're gonna check the uh, stroke length on this in just a minute. Alright, I hope you guys can read that as I spin that. Alright, we're going to do a full stroke. Getting there. Not even, <laughs> it's not even 38 millimeters. Wow, now that's surprising. Let's go all the way up. Wow, let's do that again. Oh my. So we have a 37.2 
millimeter crank in this. Now that's different. Let's go all the way up again. All right. One more time. I, I don't believe that. Well, son of a gun. Yeah, 30. It's about to go over and back up. Wow. So there is a 37.2 millimeter crank. Well, that is definitely interesting. It claims it's a 40 millimeter stroke. We're, we're not even at a 38 millimeter stroke. Hey, this would make a killer saw build. Crank, anyways. <laughs> oh, smokers. We're at top dead center. I mean, it's always off, you know, on the second place. I'm not really worried about that as long as it's the first place holder. Because I always go by the millimeters and then the next place holder. When we go down, it's going to be... Jesus. Okay, so... And we're just top... Yep. Yep, right there. That is top, bottom, center. Wow. Alright, so that's going to be something to keep an eye on. We got the two gaskets. All right, let me get back to you in a minute here. All right, so we're gonna take a measurement here. So we're about 50 millimeters, so we'll say 49 to that. All right, and then, Our pin, just to double check, is 12. So we want to take 6 off the 49. So we're looking at 43. So 43. And we're looking at 15 there, 6. So we're looking at 9 roughly okay and then so we're looking at five there plus six on this one so looking at eleven all right so I'm gonna take some of these numbers and uh, crunch them here and find out what's going on with all this and then I'm gonna measure it to this so then the uh, next video here, because I just basically wanted to see what was in it and stuff and what we got. We got screwed on a crank. I have no idea where all these ports are going to be at, but it is the same thickness as a regular 80cc if the ports mapped. I don't know yet, but I'm going to map this on a CAD drawing. And then I'll show you guys what I find. And we'll see how close the timing is and stuff in the next video. And then we'll see what's up with it. But, yeah, there's a few funky things with this. I can tell you right off. I mean, number one, the fact that the bore is cut bad. There's too much play in that. <laughs> I got a 37 millimeter crank. And they're double gasketing this. So, there's a lot of stuff, and then we got to see how thick this is, and to the head. I'm going to map this all out. We'll get a couple CAD drawings, see how it all goes. And I can figure out the timing that way easier. There's a way to adjust it and stuff, but I have a feeling these are not going to be right. Just the way that they are. So... Alright. Yeah, so I just threw this in AutoCAD. I did all the drawings and stuff. Took this case, all the heights from where the center of that crank is to the top. 
Now this is where the problem is, and I'm going to explain this super easy for you guys. I'm going to end up splitting this and taking the crank out. Um, what's going on is they put a 37 millimeter crank in here. Okay. Now, from where that crank center is to the top of this, for where the center of this crank is to the top of this 80cc one, there's 3.5 millimeters of material missing. So as you can see, there's material up on top of that bolt. These are these bolts are the exact same height, okay, to where the center of that crank is. What it is, there's three millimeters of material up on top of this one. This one has none. This thing is like right to where the bolts are casted. So what they did is they, they cut the material off this three millimeters of it, or it never existed when they cast it. Now here's where the problem is. We got a 37 millimeter crank in here. And because all that material's gone, they put two gaskets on it to raise it up enough so that the piston doesn't smack the head. So when you put the piston on, you put all your stuff on, there's actually 0.53 millimeters of squish, <laughs> which is ridiculous. So they double gasket it just to get it up enough so it doesn't smack. But the way that they have this is so screwed up because the timing is way off. So really the only, well, well, here's the thing too, is if you were to put this on an 80cc, to say there was a way, this is identical to a 49 millimeter iron sleeve. It's almost like ridiculously close to one. So you're missing three millimeters of material under it to get it to the right height. And the stroke length is not correct to do a full entire cycle through all the ports. So, got a couple of options, I guess. One, I could machine a spacer. I could copy that, machine a spacer, raise it up three millimeters. Or I could cut one two millimeters and just use a gasket on each side of it. I'd have to replace the crank. I got a YD100 crank over there. Um, I could split this one and put in a YD100 crank and change the rod out because I believe the uh, crank pin is identical to this one. They didn't change that, they only changed the uh, upper one. Or I could just do a conversion pin, either way. I don't know, I'm not there yet. But, from the looks of it, we're uh, toe for toe with a YD100 crank here. It might be the option to go, to get that the right stroke length. But anyways, yeah, that is the problem. We have too short a rod. They did it on purpose because even with the material gone, it was still hitting the top. <laughs> so they had to put a second gasket on to get it up enough. But if this was the right height and we had the right stroke length, this would be gangbuster on this. So I could tell you that without even doing a timing wheel. So what I'm going to do... Next video, I'm going to throw this on as is. We're going to time it all out and see how bad it really is. I'm not even going to try and cut the ports to match that because there's too much stuff off with the transfers. I, I can tell already just by looking at it. So it's not going to fully open. And if we do the other, it just, I don't know, it is a cluster. So yeah, there is some issues with this. Definitely manufacturing issues, but really we're missing 3.5 millimeter and the crank stroke length is way the hell off for what this should be. It should be 40 millimeter crank in it. So, uh, this one here is 41.2, I believe. 
so anyways all right so next video i'm gonna put this on we're gonna time it all out see how bad it is i'm gonna dissect it i'm gonna see if i can put a yd100 crank in it with this rod because i've never uh thrown one of these on a yd100 yet they always come like that but these are great for the saw builds i mean 37 millimeters awesome but now i know why they're so small <laughs> they're, they're coming into kits like this and people are dumping them so all right but that's where i'm at next video we'll time it and then we're going to figure out how to fix it We got a couple people asking me too. I figured I'd throw this in here. This is, let's see, 58 millimeter, just so you can see that is center to center. It is a 58 millimeter center to center, all the way around. And uh, no, this won't fit a YD100 because that is 50. Just so you could see, he'd be literally somewhere in here trying to do the studs, and you would never be able to fit those on a YD100 bottom.